Special thanks to Patreon supporter Zachary Shabal for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's good to here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the M970 semi-trailer refueler. The M970 is a 5,000 US gallon fuel dispensing tanker designed for under slash overwing refueling of aircraft. It is equipped with a filler slash separator recirculation system and two refueling systems, one for underwing and one for overwing servicing. The tanker is designed to be towed by a 5-ton 6x6 truck tractor or similar vehicle equipped with a fifth wheel. The M970 can be loaded through the bottom or through the top openings. A ladder is provided at the front of the semi-trailer for access to the top manhole and a four-cylinder diesel engine and pump assembly provides self-load SAS unload capability. The body of the refueler is a 5,000 US gallon single compartment stainless steel tank, the chassis of a welded steel construction single steel construction and is equipped with a full floating tandem axles and a manually operated landing gear. There has been talk of retiring the M970 but a suitable off-road replacement has not been found. The Marine Corps also uses the R9 and R10 tankers but they are not capable of off-road use. The M970 is part of the United States Marine Corps Maintenance Center, Albany, Georgia, USA, an integrated enterprise scheduling case study which is working to upgrade the semi-trailer for future use. Uh, so yeah, really interesting uh, little trailer here. We don't, I don't think I've ever actually done a tanker trailer um, for the channel, so that's a cool thing here. You can add this to your air bases or any kind of rural airfields or anything like that, which is what this is intended to be. Uh, this is intended to be more of a uh, off-road, basically just a very rural, a very kind of um, you know forward operating base type of uh, scenario. And uh, it's a pretty cool little trailer here, and we just released a tutorial for the semi-truck, which could be used to tow this. Um, there are other semi-trucks also that are used to tow this. Basically, any tra trailer truck or any semi-truck that has a fifth-wheel type attachment can tow this thing. So uh, it kind of opens up the future for future vehicles where uh, you can have uh, trailers and stuff like that attached to them and all that stuff. So cool stuff here and a cool build to basically add to any of your uh, air bases or anything like that. Um, so before we go and jump in and take a look at the build, I want to go and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter Zachary Shabal for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel where you guys are, I do feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you can go and make, where you can go and pledge a small amount of money uh, to donate to the, basically the channel uh, every month and earn a vehicle request to your choosing. It helps support the channel and my work and a lot of stuff, and is obviously much appreciated. So feel free to check it out again. Link is always in my video descriptions. Anyways. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the vehicle. So, starting off with, we have obviously the front here, which has this ladder, um, and then it is a fifth wheel type attachment, so it basically connects, uh, kind of sits down into the hitch, and basically is able to rotate from that. Um, we also have the G the uh, engine, or the basically the generator on the side here, which allows it to kind of power the pump system and all that stuff, so it's kind of a self sufficient type trailer. Um, as we work our way back, just various little indicators, markings, hazard um, stuff, all that stuff, and we have our two axles on the back here for the trailer. Uh, spare tire mounts on the back, and nothing too crazy here, just some various uh, pumps and hose attachment areas. Over here on the other side, this is where kind of the main pump system actually is. So you have basically your whole pump system here. Uh, these uh, basically ladder section here, this would open up to reveal basically rolled up hoses that can be rolled out and um, basically attached to aircraft where needed. Um, and that's pretty much the trailer. It's a cool little design and again is going to make an awesome addition to any of your air bases. I will be showing you guys in the beginning how to kind of structure this when you are planning on it attaching it to a vehicle. So uh, for example, you can attach it to this truck here with a few modifications. Uh, for example, for this truck you will need to basically delete some dark oak trap doors and the banners on the wheels, but other than that, this will sit perfectly in the uh, trailer. So just note that there are some uh, exceptions to this. You will need to delete some stuff here and there to make this fit properly on some vehicles. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. All right guys, so going ahead and moving into our first layer, and we go ahead and moving into layer one. Now, when we move into layer one, we do need to make a few uh, considerations if we are going to be building this attached to a truck. As I mentioned, I just released, recently released a tutorial for the M915, uh, basically semi-tractor. 
that is uh, perfectly capable of fitting with this trailer. I don't really have any other semi trucks that will work uh, for this, so this is kind of your only option as of right now. Uh, but in the future, if I do release more semi truck type designs for the military use, you could obviously adapt this tanker design to any of those. A few things to mention here is that before we start layer one, it's very important to take into consideration where this is actually going to attach up to. So the best thing to do is to go ahead and find where your hitch would be. So theoretically on this truck here, we want to have our stone brick wall, which is going to be the basically the bottom section here of the front trailer. We're going to go ahead and have this on top of this anvil section right here on this truck. Now, to make sure that that sits right, we are going to go ahead and theoretically, on our truck, we're going to go ahead and place down the stone brick wall, like so. And using the M915 as an example, we have two more spaces back of the actual truck itself, so one and two that we will need to leave open. And then it goes ahead and basically that's the edge there of the back of the truck. Now from this, we have basically three blocks of space here before we get into basically this back section here of the trailer which is very important to take in consideration so you need to make sure that you have enough clearance so you need to make sure that you have at least three blocks of space from where the stone brawl stone brick wall attaches to where the section here of this trailer begins because if not this trailer is not going to fit for that truck um, but yeah once we have that kind of cleared away we're going to go ahead and go to a fourth block back from our yellow concrete we're going to go and drop down and then go one block out to both sides. Now from this point we're going to go ahead and then place down a dark liquid trap door to both sides like that. And then uh, we can go ahead and take our dark liquid trap doors and depending on which side we're on, so if you're, we're going to start on the right side we're going to place down three more dark liquid trap doors back, or, sorry two more, see for row three. And then over here on the left side is going to be one, two, three, four, five, and six dark liquid trap doors back. So again it kind of depends on what side of the vehicle you're on. Once we have that complete, uh, we're going to go ahead and basically build our wheels here. So for the wheels for the back of the trailer, we're going to have a narrow brick upside down stair like that, followed by a second stair coming off of it, and the same thing over here on this side, directly across from that wheel. We're going to go ahead and take our uh, polished inside slabs, we're going to place on a row of three of polished inside top slabs across here, and we're going to go ahead and do the same thing here for narrow brick stairs coming directly off of that previous wheel, and another row of three of polished inside top slabs going across like so. And once you have that done there, that's basically it for this layer. It kind of sits something like this. It's pretty simple and straightforward there. Again, make sure that everything is set up correctly. Again, we have basically one, two, three, four. Our four block forward here is our, where our stone brick wall is going to sit. So we have three blocks of space before this area starts here. So very important to make sure that, that sits properly um, in your uh, truck because if not, this trailer will unfortunately not fit for it. Also, you do have the option that if you do not want to attach this to a truck, you can very simply um, go ahead and just place down a dark oakwood fence post in, right here next to these trap doors on both sides here for the little legs that the trailer will sit on. And then underneath it, you can go ahead and grab yourself a shulker box and you can place down a shulker box. And this right here is if you plan on having the trailer not attached to a truck. So it's just sitting maybe in a uh, supply yard or something like that. Uh, it has these little legs that it does sit on. But if you are attaching it to a truck, by all means, do not add these legs. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of the options there for basically getting started here. That's it for layer one. Let's move on to our next layer, layer number two. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to uh, focus our attention to the front up here. Now we're going to go ahead and go to basically the tops of these dark oak fence posts, or if you do not have the fence post placed, we're just going to have a mossy cobblestone wall in this section here to both sides. Now once that's done, we want to go ahead and then focus our attention over here to the left side. We're going to place down a shulker box on its side like so, followed by a stone brick slab. And then coming off the side here of the stone brick slab, we're going to go and place down a dark brick wood sign. So just like this. We're going to go and then place down an anvil, followed by a wither skeleton skull from outside the anvil, a mossy cobblestone wall, and then a row of one, two, and three black concrete blocks across with three ladders on those black concrete blocks. We want to go and then take our green terracotta and from the slab we're going to go three over from the anvil three over and basically we're just going to go and place our third row of three, a fourth, fifth, and sixth row of three of green terracotta filling that whole space in like that on the side there. We also want to go ahead and go to the side of the shoulder box up here toward the front and we're going to place down a dark oak trapdoor closed like that on the side of that block. 
Now we're going ahead and now work it on the right side. The right side here obviously being a bit different from the um, left side. So for the right side here we have our generator. To, so to begin with we're going to place a nice stone brick wall right here. On top of this dark oak trap door. Dark oak trap door on the side facing toward the front like that. We're going to go ahead and place down a blast furnace. Followed by a anvil directly after it like so for our engine here on the side. And then we want to go ahead and then place down a dark oak trap door to mark the side here on the anvil. We're going to go ahead and then uh, basically go to our next space here, place on a mossy cobblestone wall, a green choker box on the side, and a narrow mossy cobblestone wall. On the face here of the uh, choker box, we're going to place down a dark oak with sign. We're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves item frames. We're going to place down an item frame on the uh, choker box, and then a green terracotta block in the item frame like that. We're going to wait toward the back here. We're going to go ahead and then place down a snow brick wall on top of these two polished data side blocks on the sides there. Green terracotta block in the middle, row 3 a green terracotta, and again the same thing again, still brick wall to both sides, and a green terracotta block there in the middle. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a, another row 3 of green terracotta back, followed by a row of 3 of dark cuckoo top cells on the end here. Now we're going to then take our narrow brick stairs, and on top of these uh, two upside down stairs, we're going to place down two stairs back to back on top of them to go ahead and complete our back wheels, like so. And then uh, going ahead and working on our back bumper here for the trailer, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood up sound stair, come off the sides here of that row 3 of dark oak wood up sound stairs, and on the back of the stair, we're going to go ahead and place down a black banner like that. We also want to go ahead and grab our dark oak wood signs, and we're going to place down a row 3 of dark oak wood signs across in between those banners. Uh, with that all done, um, that's pretty much it for this layer. The last thing we're going to be doing is to go ahead and make these banner uh, wheel designs, which are, again, optional. Some of you guys like it, some guys don't. Uh, so it's an optional feature you can add to the trailer. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to make those real quick. If you definitely built them on this truck here, I definitely recommend you do it for this trailer. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into making those banner wheels. Alright guys, so go real quick moving into making these banner wheels. They're really straightforward and simple to do. All we're going to do is place down a loom. We're going to go, and go into our loom and we're going to take our black banners and place it into our loom in our green die. We're going to select a line over here on the left side of green, basically a green line like so on our first banner. And then we're going to go and do the opposite, so a green line over here on the right side. We want to go and then uh, take our black banners. We're going to place them back into our loom and our black die this time. So this time we have the green line on the left side, so we're going to select the bottom left square in the corner and then the top left square like so and you get a, a design that looks like that we're going to do the same thing here for this banner and this time the lines on the right side so we're going to select the bottom right and then the top right like so and we want to go and very simply take these and we're going to just very uh, basically place them on these two narrow brick stairs like that so that the green is facing each other like so and that will basically complete our wheel design and with that that will complete layer number two for the build here's a bit of an overview of what it looks like it's Pretty straightforward stuff there uh, so far. Uh, but anyways, that's it there for layer number two. Let's move into layer number three. I right, guess moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three, to go ahead and get started with here, we want to go ahead and go forward from this stone brick wall. We're going to skip a space, and then we're going to place down a dark oak with top slab. We're going to go ahead and go off this top slab, one and two. Dark oak with top slabs to either side like that to get a row of five. On the front here, we're going to go ahead and place down a zombie head on the two ones here in the middle and then a end rod right there in the exact middle of that row of five. We're going to then take our dark liquid signs and we're going to wrap around the dark liquid pop slabs like so. So just like this on the corners here and then on the inside here uh, we're going to leave those three uh, spaces open. We want to go then place down an item frame here on the side of the slab and then an orange bed in the item frame with the pillow rotated so it's facing toward the rear of the trailer. And this right here is just going to basically be a reflector light here on the sides here for the front. I right, guess so going ahead and continuing on, uh, one thing you want to add from the previous layer is that in between these bossy cobblestone walls here, there is supposed to be a dark liquid fence gate, so make sure you go ahead and add that. Anyways, after that's done, we're going to then take our green terracotta, replace that row 3 on top of the mossy cobblestone walls and dark liquid fence gate. And then coming off that, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a row of 3 of stone upside down stairs. And then the both ends of that row 3 of stone upside down stairs, we're going to go ahead and very simply placing down a dark liquid stair. To both sides. After that's finished, we're going to go ahead and focus our attention over here on the left side. So, doing all the stuff here for this pump system. Uh, to begin with, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood uh, trapdoor on top of this shulker box and open it up toward the back there. We want to go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood fence post, which is going to go ahead and go on top of this anvil. Come off the side of the fence post, we're going to place down an item frame, a dark oak wood sign, and then a green terracotta block in the item frame. And then we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a grindstone 
You want to place down a grindstone come off that fence post like that. We then want to place down a dark oakwood upside down stair on top of this musty cobblestone wall and a dark oakwood sign directly after it. We're going to then take our green terracotta blocks. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Or sorry, just six green terracotta blocks back and then a dark oakwood stair here on the back. On the sides here, we're going to place down an item frame. On our first green terracotta block, and we're going to place down an orange bed in the item frame, rotate it around to the pillows facing toward the rear, dark oakwood sign. And we want to go and then grab our dark oakwood buttons. And we're going to place down a row of two dark oakwood buttons, and then go back to our last green terracotta block here, item frame, orange bed, pillow facing toward the rear, and a dark oakwood sign like that on the side there. And then uh, once we have that done, we're going to go over to our right side and work on our right side. So for our right side here, a little different, we're going to place down a row of two green terracotta blocks on top of the anvil in the blast furnace, and then a zombie head coming off this green terracotta block going forward toward that dark oakwood stair. We then want to place down a dark oakwood trap door on the sides there of those two green terracotta blocks, and then we're going to place down a row of one, two, and three dark oakwood top slabs, a row of three of dark oakwood sides along those top slabs, a item frame on the center, a uh, slab and then a uh, orange bed in the item frame with the pillow rotated facing toward the rear. We then want to take our green terracotta and we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four green terracotta blocks back and on the last block here we're going to place down a dark oakwood sign, item frame, and a orange bed with the pillow facing toward the rear like that. And then just a dark oakwood stair here on the end of that row. We can go ahead and then take our green terracotta and we can go and fill in this whole space here in the middle uh, completely fill this in and um, close this whole area off. Now we're going to go ahead and stop once we get to this point right here. Now at this point we're going to go ahead and then take our narrow brick stairs. We're going to place down two narrow brick upside down stairs like this over here to the left side. And then we want to go ahead and then place down a dark oakwood slab over here to the left side. So two stairs here to the right and a dark oakwood slab there. We're going to go ahead and then place down a lever on these two dark oakwood top slabs and then a dark oakwood trap door in the middle and then come off these levers we're going to go ahead and place down a zombie head and we want these levers facing toward the trailer itself. Um, we're going to go then place down an item frame on the front here of those two stairs. In those item frames we're going to place down red stained glass blocks and also a dark oakwood sign on the face of the stair like so. And uh, that right there is going to basically wrap up this layer. As you can see we have the differences here on both sides so just make sure you're uh, following along with that and everything like that. Anyways, that right there is it for layer number three for the build, and with that, let's go and move into our next layer, layer number four. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four, we're going to start off by taking our green terracotta and place down a row three across the front here, followed by a dark oakwood top slab to both ends. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a uh, green shulker box, which is going to go ahead and go in this spot right here, and we want to make sure we place it like so, so that the top of the shulker box is facing downwards. We're going to go and then go back from it, and we're going to place down a anvil like so and then to the side to the side of the choker box here and place on a green terracotta block and then to the sides here of the anvil we're going to do the same thing with our choker boxes so one on both sides and we want to make sure that we're building them like this so that the top of it is facing down like so also on this side of the anvil here we're going to do the same exact thing choker box facing downwards like so we can then take our green terracotta blocks fill in these two corners and then a row three like this connecting us up to our trailer and also while we're at it, just an arrow three on top of those stone upside down stairs. Now once that's done, uh, to the sides here, we're going to place down a smooth quartz top slab to both sides. And we want to go and then take our dark oakwood top slabs. We're going to place down one and two top slabs back, and then one and two. Going up to the front here, we're going to place down a dark oakwood fence gate. Come off this green terracotta block, and then to the right side, so this green terracotta block to the right side, we're going to place down an item frame, dark oakwood sign over the item frame, and then in that item frame we're going to place down a smooth cord block like so. After that uh, we're going to then place down a dark oakwood upside down stair to both sides and at this point here we're going to focus in on our right side. So for our right side here to begin with, going back from the stair we're going to place down two dark oakwood top slabs. We're going to then place down a smoker block and then a polished data site block directly after it. And then on the side of the polished anti block, we're going to place down an item frame, and in that item frame, we're going to place down a compass, like so. The gauge is there for the pump. After that, we're going to take our dark oakwood top slabs, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven dark oakwood top slabs back like that. Over here to our right side, 
Uh, we're going to start off by placing down a row of two dark oak tops onto come back from that stair. We then want to place down two dark oak tops downstairs. On the front of these stairs, we're going to place down two item frames. In the item frame toward the front, we're going to place down a block of smooth quartz and then a white bed in the second one. And we're going to rotate it so it's on the side here. And we want to go and very simply then place down dark oak signs over those item frames like so. And then we're just going to take our dark oak with top slabs and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 dark oak with top slabs back. And the spaces in between these top slabs and uh, various blocks, we're just going to fill in with green terracotta going all the way to the back here, like so. Now in the very back here, we're going to take our narrow brick stairs. We're going to place down two stairs back to back, like this for the spare tire. And while we're at it, we can go ahead and take our green banners, or our banners here, and we can go and place these like this, so just like we did for the wheels there. Um, before. After that's all finished there, we're going to then place down a mossy cobblestone wall over here to the left side, followed by a dark oakwood slab coming off the, um, or sorry, a yeah, dark oakwood slab coming off the mossy cobblestone wall, a dark oakwood slab on the side of the slab, and then a zombie head coming off the slab here to the left side. And once you have that all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer number uh, four for the build. And with that, we'll move into our final layers here, which are going to very simply be layers uh, 5 and 6. So with that, let's go ahead and move into our last final layers, layers 5 and 6. Alright okay, guys, moving into our last final layers, we have layers 5 through 6. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to start off in the front. We're going to place on our row 3 green terracotta across the front here, followed by a dark oak wood slab to both sides. We want to go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood fence gate, come off this middle green terracotta block, an item frame over here to the right side, a white bed in the item frame, and we're going to rotate the white bed so it's facing on its side, and then a dark oak sign to kind of cover up the item frame like so. After that, we're going to take our green terracotta blocks, we're going to place down uh, a second row of three, followed by a third row, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. So you should have a total of sixteen rows of three of green terracotta filling this whole space in like so. On the side tier, we're going to take our dark oakwood slabs going back from this one. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 dark oakwood slabs back, then 3 smooth quartz blocks, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 dark oakwood slabs. Same thing over here. Just like this, and then 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. And then on the back here, we're just going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall on top of this one. Coming off the side of the monster cobblestone wall, we're placed on an item frame, green terracotta block in the item frame, and a dark group could sign like that on the side there. And then uh, up on top, we're going to go ahead and place down a zombie head like this, and then a narrow zombie head on top of this green terracotta block at a slight angle like so. We then want to take our daylight detectors, starting from the back here, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Going forward, a dark group could slam, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, Daylight detectors going forward, and then a dark oakwood fence gate here on the front, like that. And once you have that all complete, there, that is going to wrap up my design for the M970 semi trailer refueler. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put good use of you doing them using this design. I do ask you guys give me proper credit for it. Speed thing from the side of the build to my channel where this video, if this does appear any social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for it, you're free to use whatever project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. Again, big, space, big thanks sorry, to Patreon supporter Zachary Chabal for making this tutorial possible. And uh, feel free to check my Patreon page. Again, link is always in my video descriptions. And that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's me here to do it for, and I'll see you guys next time.